What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Leo, coming to you guys with yet another video. So today, I'm going to be talking about who do I think will be the last member as part of Team Bianca at Survivor Series War Games. But before we get into that, um, if you guys are watching this video and you see the, the quality of the camera looks a little different because I changed the resolution. We from, went from 1080p to 4K. So let's get into the video. I just wanted to put that out there. But... We're going to talk about some different names who I potentially can see being part of that Survivor Series team. Now, it looks like we're going to be having Bianca, Shotzi, and Charlotte versus Damage Control's um, Asuka, Io, Kyrie, and Bailey. Now, if it was a fifth member, then I can see it um, pretty much um, Dakota being part of that team, but... I think she's still injured, so I don't think they're going to um, do a 5-on-5. Five five. I think it's probably going to be 4-on-4. Four four. I could be wrong, but I'm going to talk about some different names who I potentially think could be part of that team. So the first person I think could be part of that team is one that people have been talking about for a while now, at least for the last couple of days or a week and a half or something, or I believe. And that is Becky Lynch. Now, um... Becky Lynch is, is somebody that they have been been rumored to be part of that team to go up against Damage Control. But I think with the whole feud that she's been having with Zia Lee, I think if they were to do something like that and have um, Bianca, not Bianca, but Becky be part of that, I can see a situation where Zia Lee might interfere for some reason. I just feel like that would be coming. I think that's the, the feud that she should be part of. But, you know, WWE sometimes they want to have all the big stars that they can be part of these bigger shows like the Rumble, Mania, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series. So, you know they're going to probably try to, you know, go big, especially if this is considering their last their WWE main roster pay-per-view this year until we get to the Rumble. So, you know they're going to try to do something big and, and big there. Now, do I think she should be part of it? No, just because I think she's already kind of tied up with the few that she is in. And I feel like it kind of would just confuse things just a little bit. So I don't think they should add her to the team. I feel like she's kind of pretty much she done it last year. So I mean, don't let's not do that again. I think she, I think she was uh, even uh, conf she was actually feuding with with, uh, with them last year. So like no no let, let let's change it up just a bit. Let's just change it up. The second person that I could see being part of that team is a debuting Jade Cargill. Now, I think this could be a way to kind of get Jay Cargill into WWE. I think this will be a great moment to introduce her to the, the main roster fans and I actually have her let her have a good showing at that pay-per-view so people can who aren't uh, familiar with her get familiar with her and actually have the opportunity to get behind her as well. And just think of the matches that you could te possibly set up or tease going into Mania. Like, I, a lot of them, I've, I've said myself, maybe Bianca versus um Jade or a Charlotte versus a Jade Cargill. Those are two big money WrestleMania matches that you could potentially set up if you were to, you know, have her be part of that Team Bianca War Games match. And you could also kind of let her get accustomed to, like, letting her be up there with, like, some of the bigger names in the women's division. So... I think that would be a great way to bring her in. And I think usually when somebody is, you know, debuted, I think you need to start actually allowing them to get as much exposure as you can and putting them in, you know, big scenarios. You don't always have to do that, but with someone like a Jay Cargo and, and the way they've been building her up, I think it would make sense to put her in a situation like that and see how kind of she does. I feel like she would do, you know, good in that situation. And then from there, you can build off of everything that's happened at Survivor Series going into the rest of 2023 and going into Rumble season, which ultimately means we're going to be going into WrestleMania season. So that this is a way to kind of set everything up for your WrestleMania matches and stuff like that. Even if they, and, and stuff like that, even if they don't like, you know, end up doing it, but I think this will be a great moment to do so. Now, I think Jay Cargill, when it's all said, and I think is the more likely one to, you know, be part of that team if it's not Becky. 
And the, the next thing, I feel like it may not happen, but I think it would be a great moment just as just as much as Jade, but Jade probably would hold just a little bit more just because it's a debut. Now, this one is a return, not a debut, a return. Now, who do I think could be another person that could be part of this um, Survivor Series War Games match for Team um, Bianca is a returning Liv Morgan. Now, this one doesn't really make sense only because she was taken out by Rhea and she was on the Raw brand, so it kind of confused things if she just shows back up on the SmackDown brand. Now, not I think it would be a great pop for her, sure, just because we haven't seen Liv Morgan in about three months now. So, I feel like it would get the crowd cheering for her and kind of reestablish her. Or, it, and, and honestly, it doesn't even have to be her moving back to SmackDown, honestly. It could be just a one-night thing where it could be a sense of things where Bianca couldn't find anybody. And she called Liv Morgan. And Liv Morgan said, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll come down there for just that one night. And then I'm just going to go back to Raw. So, you could do that, honestly. And I think that's what they were saying about Becky, but I think Becky's kind of already in a feud, so you don't necessarily need to put her in the War Games match. So that's why I say if it's when it comes down to it, Liv Morgan could make a return for that one night, and then from there you have her go back to Raw and then rekindle her feud and try to get her revenge on Rhea Ripley for costing her all these moments and costing her nearly her career by injuring her and taking her out and putting her on the shelf. You know that story right there, right to, right to itself between Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. That is a big WrestleMania feud, worthy feud, whether people want to admit it or not. If you look at the story, it makes sense. But that, we're not going to talk about that. That That's for another video, another time of the day. But when it comes down to it, I think either Liv Morgan is going to make a return for one night to be, potentially be on team Bianca to face damage control and Asuka. But at the same time, I think it would make just as much sense to have a debuting Jay Cargill show up at Survivor Series and have her first match in the War Games match. Because she can have a breaking out moment in the women's division if she can have like a good moment in the match or a spot. You know how they like to do the, these different spots and stuff like that in, in, in these matches. And usually it makes a, a star coming out of the pay-per-view. So, I think that is the more likely. I think that's the route that they should go and have Jay Cargill debut at Survivor Series. But, that is the end of the video, you guys. Make sure you super kick that like button, Superman punch that post notification bell, and uh, spear that subscribe button. We're on the road to 700. Comment down below. Let me know. Who do you guys think should be the last member of Team Bianca to face uh, Damage Control and Asuka at Survivor Series? And, and, like, let me know who, who you have and why. I would love to have to get your opinions on how, who did you guys think should happen at Survivor Series. But I appreciate everybody tuning in, and, we'll, and I'll see you guys in the next one.